how's it going, guys? Andrew here. And Connor. Uh, welcome to me being paranoid because I don't think I press record. <laughs> Dude, you definitely stood up and hit record. Dude, I t- always have that fear. Are we, are we going again? No, like? we're keeping that in there, guys. It, it's been a minute. What was our last review, anyways? The assistant. Was that the last one we did for you guys? Well, we're back with not one, not two, not three, not five. But four reviews and initial thoughts. All that mixed in. All of them spoiler free because they're all on VOD, streaming services, stuff like that. And we're starting out with a thud. A Dude. whimper. <laughs> a, was it a whimper? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a movie. Uh, guys, we watched a film called... Don't say it. The... Mm-hmm. The vast mm-hmm. of the night of night of damn it! I wanted the other dog. Just the extra article. The vast of night, uh, directed by Andrew Patterson. Oh wow! Look at you memorizing that before. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you have my first name. Uh, this oh, was his first true. film ever. Pretty much, almost everybody's. This was their first film. Also, Matt is playing video games in the background. If you hear him, um, so <laughs> this. <laughs> oh, it's um, such a sloppy review. It doesn't matter. The, it's it, this film doesn't warrant a professional review. No. Anyway, so. so guys, this is on uh, Amazon Prime. If you have mm-hmm. Prime, you can watch it. But Prime, at the Prime end of original. this, we're gonna tell you not to watch it. I'm sorry. If you, if you like, no, I I can't. I can't. If you're Chris Stuckman. I <laughs> I recommend this film to you. Apparently, he liked it. Um. Yeah. So guys, this movie. If you don't know from Chris Stuckman, I think that's the reason why we both watched this movie was because of him. It's better topped off. It's better topped yeah. off. I'm kidding. I'm pretty excited now. All right. Uh, yeah, that's the really the only reason why we watched this. Um, got a decent buzz on Letterbox. Shout out to. Them. Yeah, it has like a three point five. Shocking, man. Honestly, <laughs> shockingly, in my opinion, I guess people too. are just like, wow, this is a decent, like, decently shot, like, indie movie with no budget. And it's like so that that's, that's like probably the argument that everyone's gonna go to. That's the thing is that people are gonna be like, yeah, well, they made a movie. It's inspiring. That. There was barely any budget. They shot it really quick, you know, stuff like that. It was almost everybody's first film, like, besides a few of the actors, obviously. Like, it's fine from a technical standpoint. Technical, like, I will say, I think it I said that in my okay. little review. Like, but some of the Most shots... Most of it's at night, so it's like they can't really, like, tinker with lighting too often. I'm sorry, guys, but the first ten minutes is pointless. Yeah, it's... That's, like, the biggest issue with me is... I guess he wrote this, but, like... The director wrote it? Probably. Oh. But his dialogue... It's rough. Is, it's, it's pointless. It's just too much. Like, well, what I say is... No, he didn't write it. All right, well, good for him then. What I said when we were watching the movie last night, I was, I was like, the they pretty much wanted to do overlapping dialogue, like back in like the 40s and 30s, you know, and stuff like that. Yeah. And it just wasn't working. I'll give a lot of credit to the actors, because like, you, you could tell they tried. No, There's no big names in this. There's no... You know, no. there's not even like the big cameo or something no, like that. I mean, there's. I think like the old, like the lady was the, the most well known. Been in a few things, yeah. but like I couldn't tell you not, who she was. Not much since like the '90s. So, um, um, but like we said, from a technical standpoint, this movie is like it's 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 good. I it's a say. competent movie. It's just the execution of some things that we have problems with. I just there are points in the film where there are just very long drawn out conversations and they're like one shots because the, you know they don't have enough time and money to get close ups of right. everybody and different angles of everybody so there's one where a lady is having a monologue and it's just on her for I kid you not probably like seven minutes My yeah the thing I pointed out to Andrew is they eventually cut away and I'm assuming that's the point that was the best take and that's where she messed up. That's yeah. when we finally cut away. There's no reason why they cut away. Like, you could have cut away at any other, like, shocking reveals that she says or whatever, even if there is yeah. anything shocking to begin with. But, yeah, like, it's impressive on face value. Like, all these wonders that are, like, okay, they're pretty impressive from an acting standpoint. But and other than that, ma- it's Mainly not. acting, because, yeah. like, nothing's really visually amazing in this movie. There's, like... 
the one thing where they use a go kart or whatever it was that Stuckman points out. Yeah, that's like the coolest thing. Is like, but even they, at that, like it wasn't even, like whoa. But that's like the most interesting visu- thing yeah. visually because we get so much walking and talking or sitting and talking like the entire fucking movie. And it's like, I mean, there's a point where there's a conversation like over the phone. We don't even see the other actor, and there are moments where the screen goes to black and all we see is a black screen and hear the actor's voice and then it comes back and goes dark again yeah it does it multiple times it mo- does it because <laughs> you just realize the You're director like, had didn't know what to do he was like i don't want to just keep holding on to the actor who's listening the whole time like there's, I, there's no uh, artistic purpose that's the thing like, yeah you you could do these things if like whatever they say like signifies darkness or like like it is like a visual cue or something like that but it's really not it's just because yeah. they ran out of footage or because they messed up a take or whatever you know it's not nothing's like makes any sense from the decisions that they make from a directorial standpoint no know? and like it gets interesting like literally the last five minutes of the movie yeah, and when like, I mean interesting not like <laughs> like <gasps> it's just like oh it's wow like something's a, it's happening a th- yeah it's ethereal <laughs> And what you would expect leading up to it ends up happening. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. And there's some cool miniatures. Yeah, I will say. Yeah. I, was, I was like, where's the money shot? Like, where did their budget go to? And then you, you get to, you see what... It's, it's, a, it's a money shot. Yeah, it's the yeah. money shot. Um, but... Uh, I mean, I can't, I, at the end of the day, though, I can't recommend it to people. Yeah, we ended up... Once, once we understood that neither of us were really liking it, that's when we were, like, openly... We, we kind of ripped uh, it Kind of bashing it. Especially with the baby. That was pretty funny. Yeah. The baby is great. But, like, at the end of the day, like, I tip my hat off. Yeah, like... You guys made a movie. Like, that's awesome. I say it's... I, I, like, I don't want to get any backlash for not liking this film because it's like super The indie. editor is going to find this video. Yeah, and no, like it's like... I, kill us. I, like, everybody gave their A game. I'm not even mad at the director. I'm not mad at the writer. I'm not... Like, I'm not... Why would I be mad? This Good. wasn't, like, a freaking, like... Decent score. At yeah, least. Oh, there was so Mario. There you go. Who's the composer? Let's shout them out because the composer of this movie that was definitely my the most impact. Oh, we didn't even like really mention oh, two composers. How this was, you know, the Twilight Zone was really inspired by this. Eric I mean, Alexander Eric and Alexander. Jared Bulmer. Was they it both their first uh, mm-hmm. things? According awesome. to Letterbox. I don't Dude, know. Dude, guys, good TV. job. I hope you keep making stuff because it definitely sounded good. I will say that. I feel like everyone from like a technical standpoint and the actors too. Like I, like I didn't care about any of the characters, but like they were at least they at least tried hard enough to memorize all these stupid lines, and like ramble on. Because like some crazy. Yeah, like there's a lot of shots <laughs> where you're like, wow, okay, these amateur actors actually are like trying with all these you know performances. So, at the end of the day, it's literally it's probably like 80 minutes. There's probably like 80, 82 minutes. Yeah. Um. If you want to watch it, watch it. Don't watch it though at like midnight, like we did, because <laughs> watch it bright, broad daylight. Yeah, don't, or you don't will eat fall right, asleep. Don't eat right before it either. You yeah, might freaking you take, might a take a nap. Yeah. So just yeah, watch it right when you wake up. So you just take a shower. You're just full of energy. Sit down, and watch the movie, or you <laughs> will fall asleep. That's what we should. We should watch like Shirley last night or something. I don't know. I might have fallen asleep during that movie too. Uh, fair enough. Um, man, that foreshadowing to the next review. Uh, but yeah, uh, wink, great. Wink. Four out of ten. Four to I ten. hate that I'm so harsh on it, but like, my biggest flaws with this movie is it's writing. I don't care about any of the characters due to the writing. Like, I yeah. couldn't tell you any personality traits of any of these people. Annoying. Yeah. And, and nerdy. They just talk a lot, and they're nerdy. Yeah. One of them plays in the band. And they're both. Uh, One they're, of them's a DJ. They're both <laughs> super into science. It's like okay. I, Everett was the guy's name. Well, it sounded like Babe. Faye. Faye? Wasn't it Faye? Also, they lived in New Mexico, which Connor didn't pick Faye. up on. Yeah. Wow. F-A-Y. Interesting name. Faye. Uh, yeah, New Mexico. So that's kind of cool. He's from Texas. Uh, oh, my gosh. Um, Kevin oh, Durant. Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. I, oh, we didn't even look that up. <laughs> what, Kevin Durant, if you're watching... I don't know what you did with this film. Maybe they're just really big fans of you. <laughs> Maybe one of them went to college with you. I don't know. But there was a special but thanks to the, the very Kevin Durant. The very end of the credits. We're like, oh, look at all the extras. And Kevin Durant. What the what heck? The? Yeah, um, that was pretty So fun. Kevin Durant fans, watch the movie. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin Durant. Um, but yeah, I'd give it like a 
probably like a C minus. Okay. It, like, it's the the score is good. Yeah. That's about all I can say. It's like everything. Not- all the technical stuff is good, but the, even like even the directing, like the I don't I don't think I think he could do something. Yeah. But I don't think I he hope had most enough. Of these people get another shot at something. I don't think he had enough of a visual flair. Mm. But obviously, you know, at that point, it comes with a budget. Like he got, he was able to make something with the budget he got, and so that's awesome that he got to pull it off. Yeah. But there are moments where you could see, like, damn, he really was struggling during that scene. At least he made so. a feature feature length film on Amazon Prime. Dude, right? yeah, and debate debut. Props on to Amazon you. Prime, I, I, so. I mean, I guess I shouldn't talk shit until I finally have my <laughs> first film on Amazon. Like, who Prime, are you, so. Andrew? Uh, damn, I should be wearing the double director thing, the hat and the shirt. Be like, no, that's too I'm much. I'm the real director. I'm not. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there one day. Uh, but yeah, so uh, the vast of night. Check it's it out. It's on Prime. It's watch, free. If it's on your Prime. Check it out if you just watch any sci-fi movies. Just you might like it. There's there are like people it. that like this movie. People, so. Yeah, people who like it. Yeah, but we are not. <laughs> We're not either of them. So. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, we got we got some more to talk about. So we'll see you in the next one. This has been Andrew. This has been Connor. Peace. It's been good. Peace.